I'm Simon Chowdhury. It's Sunday, November 29th, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Wayne County Sheriff Betty Napoleon is now on a ventilator at the hospital as he continues to fight the coronavirus. Napoleon's daughter posted on Facebook that the sheriff can breathe on his own, but the ventilator is helping him heal. Napoleon's daughter says the sheriff himself played a vital part in the decision to be placed on a ventilator. Michigan is seeing another sharp increase in coronavirus cases and health officials worry about the virus being spread as people return home from Thanksgiving gatherings. The state reported more than 8,000 cases Saturday for a total of more than 350,000. 103 new deaths were also confirmed. Now more than 9,000 Michiganders have lost their lives from the virus. We're learning more about a double shooting on Detroit's west side that left one man dead. Police are still looking for the shooter, but investigators say when two men were hit by gunfire, one of the victims tried to get away, but as he drove off, the man crashed into the other victim. Police say it appears to have been an accident. Increasing clouds today, but highs near 50 degrees. A nice finish to the holiday weekend. Changes come tomorrow. Rain or rain-snow mix in the morning, changing over to snow. And snow continuing Monday into Tuesday, with 2 to 5 inches expected at this point. Of course, we'll continue to update those totals, but temperatures will be in the 30s all week long.